Hi friends, Olivia B here with my buddy Sunny. I'm here to do a unboxing. I have a bunch of packages for my shop. Um, you can see them. Move this noggin. Boop. <laughs> right there. I have a huge pile. I am totally excited to go through them. Um, I have this goofy dog here. I don't know how this is going to work out, but we will find a way. Um, my shop is on Etsy. It's called Hillside Rookery, and um, I'm lucky enough to receive packages in the mail from amazing designers and vendors, and when they come in, it's always so fun to pile them up and open them, and it's even more fun um, when I do it on camera because then I get to talk to you guys about it, and you get to enjoy it with me. So, um, if that's your kind of thing, I hope you will hang out with me while we open all of these amazing packages. The first one. It's very exciting because it is from England. This package I have been waiting for. It is from the UK. It is from my friend Rebecca and she's the amazing stitcher and designer behind Hedro Stitching. Um, if you have not watched Rebecca's videos on floss tube, I highly encourage you to check her out, especially if you love samplers and history. Um, Rebecca has been reproducing samplers for a while now and she just came out with her first ever printed design which is in booklet form and it's beautiful. She sent me one and I just had to have it in my shop. So I do believe I'm the only shop in the US that has a paper copy. So if you would like one, please come visit my shop and then take yourself one. Um, but let me show it to you so you can enjoy it first. Here we go. I'm sorry, sorry. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is called Harriet Elizabeth Coney. So it's the beautiful sampler, and then she made these smalls too. Um, it has a verse, it has this lovely red brick house and border, and that's the original there on the cover. Um, if you want to see more about the sampler, you can check out Rebecca's videos. Um, but yeah, so this is a, a beautiful booklet. Um, it's in plastic here, um, it's a color chart. And if I remember correctly, well, actually, you know, I'm going to just double check. I don't tell you anything wrong, but it's, I believe it's charted in a very suave and 100 threes and DMC. Crinkle, crinkle. Okay. The stitch count. Is 216 by 304. Let me find the key. Oh, there's some beautiful pictures in here. I'll be sure to include that in the Etsy listing if you want to see it later. Um, yeah, so it's charted DMC, Avera Swat, and 100 threes. And of course, I am always here for your MPI conversions if you want one of those. So gorgeous. I'm so proud of her. Um, Rebecca and I have been floss tube friends for years. She's one of the first person to comment on one of my first up videos. So we've both come so far and it's very exciting. So that will be in the shop shortly. Well, before I post this video, I imagine. So I'll put those next slide. Keep them safe. Sorry, I tried to balance the dog. Okay. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. If you see this video, those came very quickly. This one. I did um, use my blade to open everything ahead of time because you know, I know if it bleeds, it leads, but I'm not here for that. All right. Oh, this is MPI. This is a huge package of MPI. I think this is like my 60, it's in the 60s orders that I've done with MPI. It like never gets old. <laughs> um, I think it's in one of my October blog vlogs. I show how I sort them by number and then put them into their separate packages and kits. And yeah. I love the process and I love these soaps, so that's exciting. So, that was there. Okay. The next package is La Di Da. La Di Da. Let's get out a sip of tea. Ginger lemon, by the way. Okay, got my invoice. Important. Oh, and um, Lottie Dog came out with new releases for market. 
So that's exciting. So I have those here, and then I have some new ones for the shop, and then I have some restock for the shop. So this is one of the new ones. It's called One Stitch at a Time. This is so cute. Love that. Let's try it in Week Dye Works with a DMC conversion. And let's see what I've got here. This one's called Witch Hazel. Um, my friend uh, Megan from White Eyed Stitcher was just showing her FFO here. I was like, I need to have that in the shop. It's so cute. Look how bird in that hat. So I'm going to stitch that for sure. Okay, since we're in March, you're definitely going to be seeing plenty of um, spring patterns and bunnies. Lots of cute bunnies. This is a two rabbit sampler. I'll grab some classic. I actually might just stitch one of those bunnies and frame that. This is the Toten hair. So cute. I would like to stitch that too, so maybe I'll just stop playing out all the stuff I want to stitch because I don't put anything in the shop actually unless I want to stitch it. This one is called Sweet Pea. This is a sister's garden. Spring hair. This is a small sampler. Sophia Church. I just love the floral motifs on that. Restock with Sarah Lowell. Just a beautiful flower pretty border. This is so cute. Sampler hair. Those are so fun. Just restocking Nutcrackers 3. Another beautiful sampler. Mary Collier 1814. Margaret Cottom, age nine. Another bunny, Francis, 1863. Um, Marie Stockin Emmanuel. Showed you that one. Oh, this is so cute. Briar Rabbit. I went nuts, bloody dog. All right. Bless our home. That's a restock. Awake my soul. This was a market release. I think Michelle, you want to? I think you were excited about this one. Anna Maria, Anna Marie's pocket. That's so pretty. That pretty thing. And Rudolph. Really a lot of random Christmas restocks in here. And that is it, my friends. That's Lottie Da. So very excited to have those. And I have some work to do to get those posted in the shop. Fun work though. Um, okay, I'm gonna let Sunny out of the room and get to the next box. Okay, so next package. I should have mentioned that this is a mixture of quilts designs and cross stitch designs. So this one is Primitive Pieces by Linda. I really love her designs. And these, and she designs quilts. So 
So this one, it looks like she did in a smaller package. So I had to open it up to show you the full size design. This is a restock. This is called Old Ben Bonnet. I love that. I love those stars and those colors. This one is called Moonshine. I really want to make all of these. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but I tend to be drawn to patterns that are really pretty, but also I feel like I can do them without getting too complicated. Um, but these are older patterns, so they use they do use some older methods, I think, with like templates. So I need to kind of um, translate <laughs> for how I do things. But um, yeah, I think those are I think that's a beautiful quilt. Um, this is a new one for the shop. This is called Gathering Baskets. This is a tisket, a tasket. I think this is currently the one highest on my list to, to start first. Slim Pickens. I just think it looks simple and fun. Lighting's not great in this photo, but this one's called Me and My Shadow. And that wraps up <laughs> um, pieces by Linda. Those are lovely. Let me see if I have them. But yeah. So those are fun. Um, and yeah, have you ever stitched? I'd love to know if any of you have stitched primitive pieces by Linda Quilts. Um, and I would love, even better, I'd love to see them because I think they're gorgeous. Um, yeah, so thank you for opening up all of you. All right. Kathy Barrick! Alright. Oh, the moons of 2024. So she, um, she was awesome. She designed a pattern, the moons of, I can't remember if it's 2022, what year, but every year she, um, she offers like an updated um, chart for the current year. So if anyone needs it, um, I can include this in your order or if anyone orders this chart, I can, um, I will include this, um, so that you have the current year. Okay. All right. So this, I ordered, I ordered her new market releases. I don't know if I, I think I just ordered her market releases on this one. Um, so this is animals at home on the farm in the wild, and this is so cute. Look at all of those animals. Get out of here. Animal pin cushions. These are so cute. I mean, I'm just going to say that for all of them. Those are so fun. I love the little, like, penny rug thing she's got going on. I don't know which one would I do first. I think I would do birds, and then maybe dogs, cats. Anyway, who doesn't need a random pink cushion that says camels on it? All right, so this beauty caught in the swirl. Um, I think I'm gonna make silk packs for this. There are just six colors in the sampler. And then there's six colors in the pin cushion. It looks like, let's see, just one of them overlaps though. So I don't know if I will do the packs for the pin cushion. I might just do it for the framed piece um, because that is so gorgeous. And I think that'll be the one most people want to stitch. So 
beautiful. Okay, I got a lot of those. Cookie Cutters 1. Again, these are just so freaking cute. Look at that cat. That's definitely the Riley Harbor whale. That's really cute. It's like a butterfly with a woman's face in it. They're just so different. They're just their own style. And then here's Cookie Cutters 2. Can I tell if that's spot? Um, which one would I want to do first? Probably the bunny. Peace and Plenty Farm. That's just a beautiful Kathy Barrick right there. I want to live here. That's my house. I love the muted colors. This one's got a lot of different blossoms in it. And then if I if I had to pick a favorite, I think this would be it. Vibrant flowers. I love that. Um, I'm not like a pink person, but when it's Kathy Barrick, she has a way of just combining the colors that makes it appeal to me. So I love that. All right, well, that was a great package. I'm very excited to post all of those to the shop. I know a lot of people probably will have already purchased them from shops that went to market, but that's okay. I'm just glad to have them in my stock. And I'm sure there's people out there like me who don't buy everything right when it comes out at market, but wait and then buy stuff later on. So I'm not worried about that. Okay, I think this is my last package. It goes so fast, you know? This one is from Timeless Traditions Quilts. All right, one of them's on back order. That's okay. I can wait. Okay, I know it just turned spring, but I had to get autumn. <laughs> I've always loved this one, and I would love to make it for my home. I think I would just keep it up all year. I don't even, honestly, I don't know if I would put autumn there. I think I would just leave this and then hang it in my house all year long. This is another autumn piece, autumn time. Really cute pillow with the crow and the pumpkin. This is a restock. This is another one that I would very much like to make. This is called Gathering Baskets. Again, just kind of simple, but vibrant. Home is best. Agreed. And this is a season's quilt. I'd love to hear if you've made a timeless traditions quilt too. This is a wool applique piece, so you could do it in cotton too. This is called Singing for Joy. This is spring. There we go. I love seasons. Cotton. Adore. Okay, I think this is the last one. This is a restock. Woodland Visitors. So, love that one too. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I know it was a, a wide array of things. Um, I know I have more packages on the way. So I will be back with another video. And I'm also due for a floss too. So again, my shop is Hillside Rookery in case you want to purchase any of these beautiful items. Um, but even if not, thank you just for sitting here and enjoying them with me. Um, I always feel so nice after I do an unboxing. <laughs> like there's so many hopes and dreams in these boxes. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.